A breadboard is a tool used for quickly and easily building circuits. The outside columns are called rails. There are power and ground rails which are used for connecting power to ground to the breadboard. Notice how the rails are all connected. This means that you can connect anywhere in the rail to connect to power. There are also columns and rows in the middle of the breadboard. The rows are split down the middle and are connected to each other, but divided down the center. The columns are not connected to anything. A light emitting diode, or LED, is a small light. There are two legs that come out of the LED, a longer leg and a shorter leg. It is important to know which is which, because the longer leg, or anode, needs to be connected to power, and the shorter leg, or cathode, needs to be connected to the ground. If this is backwards, the LED could burn out. So let's wire our circuit. Take one end of a black jumper wire and put it into the negative rail on your breadboard. Take the other end of the wire and plug it into one of the ground pins on the Arduino. Next, take one end of a red jumper wire and plug it into pin number 13 on the Arduino. Then take the other end and plug it into column A, row 12 of the breadboard. Next, take a resistor from your space kit and bend down both legs. With a resistor, it doesn't matter which leg you connect to positive or negative. Plug one leg of the resistor into column E, row 12 of the breadboard. Then take the other leg and plug it into column I, row 12 of the breadboard. Now take an LED, making sure that the positive side is hooked into row 12, column J of the breadboard, and then take the other leg and connect it to the ground rail. If you haven't already, plug in your Arduino. and you should start to see the LED blink on and off. Congratulations, you've created your first circuit.